Let's start with uh, the big news of uh, this morning, straight out of Washington. The Senate passing a short-term increase to the debt limit. Elon Moy joins us with the latest. Good morning. Well, good morning, Andrew. We are one big step closer to avoiding a historic and potentially catastrophic government default after the Senate finally passed that short-term increase in the debt limit last night. Now, in the end, Republicans helped pave the way for the vote, despite months of insisting that Democrats go it alone. Eleven Republicans sided with Democrats to advance this bill. But the final tally was straight down party lines, 50 Democrats in favor, 48 Republicans against. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer accused the GOP of playing a dangerous and risky game. America's full faith and credit must never be used as a political bargaining chip. I hope my Republican colleagues relent from trying to make it one when we re revisit this issue soon. Now, that tone did not go over well with the other side of the aisle or even with moderate Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, who literally put his head in his hands during parts of that speech. Now, that could be because Democrats are going to need more help from Republicans in just a few weeks. The bill only increases the debt limit by $480 billion, which Treasury projects will last until about December the 3rd. Now, that is also the same day that government funding runs out, and the two parties will need to work together to prevent a shutdown as well. So, Andrew, we're just headed for another fiscal cliff in December. Back over to you. And do you have any expectation that it's any better by then? That's the thing I can't figure out. Is there, is, how, how does this work? No. And how, how would that improve <laughs> the situation? It, I, I'm not sure that it improves anything, Andrew. I think they're just trying to make it less bad right now. So there is some, you know, hope amongst Democrats that if they can unify their caucus and get the infrastructure and social spending packages uh, passed by Halloween, you know, then they can, you know, turn their full attention to bipartisan negotiations with Republicans. You know, I think, frankly, that is wildly optimistic given the level of rancor we saw even last night when they did pass this debt limit bill. Um, and I'd also point out that December 3rd, as the deadline for raising the debt limit next, I mean, December 3rd is when the government is going to run out of those extraordinary measures. So the debt limit will have to be raised well before December 3rd to avoid rattling markets. So um, we just don't know what this timeline is going to look like. And I think that uh, Democrats are going to find themselves right back in the same position when they're trying to negotiate with Republicans uh, later on this year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.